All right, uh, welcome back. We are continuing with our paper. We are still doing accounting paper one. Remember, we have already done question three and question four. So now we are proceeding to question two. So if we can do question two, it will then mean that we are only left with question one in this paper which is accounting paper 1 November 2022. Remember the paper 1 in accounting is based on companies, limited liability companies. And then paper 2 is for those other sections of our syllabus. So this paper is also very important for students to master it. It's also very important for them to do well in this paper so that when they proceed to paper 2, they know that they have done well and they gain confidence and are able to pass this subject. It's such a very interesting subject. So we are now in question two. Question two is based on the financial indicators. Question two. Question two is based on the financial indicators and cash flow statement. Financial indicators and cash flow statement. Question two, based on the financial indicators and cash flow statement. 2.1, choose the correct words from those given in brackets. Write only the words next to the question number 2.1.1 to 2.1.3 in the answer. 2.1.1, the director's report or audit report. So those are the options that we have given. We need to choose between the director's report and the audit report. Gives an explanation of the operations of the company during a financial year. So is it the director's report or the audit report that gives an explanation of the operations of the company during the financial year. And the correct answer to this one is the director's report. The director's report, the director's report gives an explanation. The director's report gives an explanation of the operations of the company during the financial year. Remember the audit report is the report that is issued by the independent auditors after they have audited the financial statement. So the report that gives an explanation on the operations of the company is the director's report. 2.1.2, the independent or the internal auditors are responsible for monitoring the financial control measures of the company on a regular basis. I think the key word to this question is regular basis because it says the independent or the internal remember the difference between the two auditors the independent auditors are the external auditors who comes only once at the end of the financial statement at the end of the financial year and their job is to look at the financial statements audit the financial statement and write a report so they are not there in the company on permanent basis so the internal auditors are the ones who are in the company, they are working for the company on full-time basis. So they are the ones who can be able to monitor the financial controls on a regular basis, which therefore tells us that the correct answer to this 2.1.2 is internal auditors. Internal auditors. As I have already mentioned that regular basis is the guide. So the independent auditors are responsible for monitoring the financial control measures of a company on a regular basis. No, those are not the independent. It is the internal auditors which monitors the financial control. 2.1.3. In the event of bankruptcy, the shareholders are normally not responsible for the debt of the business. This is because of limited or unlimited liability. If something is limited, remember the liability of the shareholders is only limited to the amount that they, they, they invested in the company. Should the company become insolvent, 
the shareholders can only lose the amount that they have invested. But they will not be liable to pay for the debts of the business. So the correct answer to this one is that limited liability. In the event of bankruptcy, the shareholders are normally not responsible for the debts of the business. This is because of limited liability. Their liability is only limited to the amount invested in the company. There can never be a situation when the company collapses, then the people who are owed by the company will go as far as demanding uh, the shareholders to come and pay this money and they may be even possess, repossess their personal belongings. No, their liability in the company is limited. They can only lose, when the company becomes insolvent, they can only lose only the amount invested in the company. 2.2, .2, 